The Office of Student Life, or OSL, is responsible for helping student organizations. OSL works to ensure that all students have a variety of campus involvement, including a commitment to lifelong learning and community leadership that significantly and positively changes the student. As part of that mission, OSL works with student organizations to facilitate their involvement with the university and the community. Stop by the Office of Student Life in Union Room 150 anytime to see John or Lee for help. We're generally available and you usually do not need an appointment. When you come into Student Life, you may see the rest of our staff. Megan Dufresne Gross is our coordinator for signature and cultural events. She also coordinates the commencement program for campus. Claudia Guzman is the director of Student Life and oversees our office. Stephanie Caponia works with our social programming our community engagement and service programs, and our health and wellness program. John Lanham is the coordinator for student orgs and OFO. He also supervises SUFAC and is responsible for Family Weekend. Adam Novotny works with our new student programs, the University Student Ambassadors, the University Leadership Awards program, and Next Week Today. Our organization finance officer, or OFO, is Lee Trutman. OFO is where you go to begin spending money and arranging travel. There will be more about OFO later. Our office manager is Tina Tackmeyer. She can serve as a good resource for you. She usually knows a lot about orgs and OFO as well. What are the benefits of being a student org, you may ask? I can tell you there are many, but here are a few. When a group becomes an org, they have rights to storage space. Org leaders will find lateral file drawers in the Office of Student Life and can go to OFO to request a key. Drawers will be filled on a first-come, first-served basis. A registered org also has the benefit of org email accounts and web space. This can help immensely when communicating on campus. The email account will also serve as your digital mailbox. OFO will scan receipts and send them to your own personal email account. If your org does receive physical mail, you will receive an email notification to stop by the OFO office to pick it up. You also receive the benefit of reserving spaces throughout the university. Reservations is located at the University and Ticketing and Information Center. You can see, receive not only rooms, but multimedia devices that serve your needs and banner space to promote events. This is of great benefit to your org because the fee for observing is waived. Please remember if you are putting up posters or banners to add the disability statement, which is as follows. If you have a disability and would like to discuss accommodations, contact Student Life at 465-2720. This can be found on our webpage or on the stamps in the banner room. Student Life will help students with his or her needs. The org does not need to worry about this. Simply add the disability statement. The OFO office is located in the Office of Student Life. OFO can do many things for you. One of the things it can do is give you a copy code if your org has allocated funds from SUFAC for copying or duplicating or agency funds. This will allow your org to make copies at the copier in the Office of Student Life. To be cost effective, we suggest you only do this if you have less than 20 copies to be made. If not, go to OFO in advance to use the duplicating service. OFO can set up large orders with Digicopy to be picked up in their office at a late date. They can also help you create bulk mailings and send out your org mail and help you with faxing things. Along with that, they can help you get discounted office supplies. They have a very large catalog of products and would be happy to find what you're looking for. OFO will also help you create food orders with Chartwells. Remember there is a student org catering guide with some discounted rates. You can get travel packets online from my org's portal in the forms section. These forms need to be filled out at least four weeks before your org plans on traveling. Make sure you follow the instructions on the form. Also, remember that drivers need to be reauthorized every September after September 1st of the year and it is never a bad idea to have more drivers authorized than necessary because you may need them at some point later in the year. Lee and OFO can also arrange rental cars or minivans or buses if you need them. The thing to remember is that contracts must be written by a program coordinator in the Office of Student Life. Go to the form section of the Student Org's web page and fill out a pre-contract worksheet five weeks in advance of any performer or speaker engagement you are trying to arrange. When you are sending in a travel request to SUFAC, please see the guidelines. These guidelines ask that these requests are submitted with a specific amount of time available to be looked over, so to make sure you are giving yourselves enough time and getting it done as best you can. If you have questions or concerns about the process, contact SUFAC and they can answer any questions you might have about writing it. 
One of the two ways you can get catering on campus would be from Chartwell's using their catering menu. You can order this food by coming to OFO office. Do not go directly to Chartwell's. That would not be correct protocol. Another option is that you can buy up to $100 of non-perishable food per day from off campus and bring it in. Remember to bring your receipts to OFO if you are seeking reimbursement. There are many policies to follow regarding food. To understand the food policies better, please go to the union's website and search for the non-standard food event authorization policy. This is a very long document that can explain a lot of information for your org. Please remember that you can bring in up to $100 of non-perishable food items or pick them up at the corner store. New for this year, you are allowed to call Domino's, Pizza Hut, or Toppers, but only these three places, and you could order in pizza regardless of where the funds are coming from as a student org. For all other outside food, student orgs must submit a non-standard food event authorization form to the union. Most of these will not be approved and you will have to go through OFO to order from Chartwells. Another thing to remember is what is on campus. All buildings are on campus except the Widener Center, the STEM Building, and the Mothy Center. Everything else, including housing, Lambeau Cottage, and the academic buildings are considered on campus. If you have any questions regarding the food policies, please stop by OFO. Fundraising and soliciting are two great ways for your organization to raise money. Please keep in mind that these activities must be approved by Student Life two weeks prior to the event. The forms can be found at the link on the screen. When soliciting, remember to ask for items your org may need instead of asking for cash or gift cards. Some important advice. Tell OFO what you are doing. They can help you in ways you couldn't even imagine. They know the ins and outs of orgs and will be able to answer any questions you may have. Another piece of advice would be to let OFO know you are spending money four to five weeks in advance. That way, they can work with you to ensure everything is done correctly. Also, make sure to keep all receipts, especially if you plan on being reimbursed for a purchase you've made. OFO cannot reimburse you if there are no receipts, so please save them all. There are two different kinds of funds, agency and SUFAC. Agency funds are funds that the org has collected. These could have come from fundraisers such as bake sales, candy sales, car washes, or dues. These accounts have much more flexibility and orgs can buy almost anything except alcohol, firearms, and tobacco. SUFAC funds come from the segregated fees that student government has collected from the budget. These funds are much more restricted in regards to spending. Certain dollar amounts are allocated to different places and can only be changed by submitting a reallocation request form to SUFAC. There are many rules to this money, such as you cannot buy food unless the money has already been allocated to that particular event. Budget training happens every year in October to teach you how to write a budget. Next year's dates are listed on the screen. You should watch your SO account for emails regarding the deadline for submissions in case the days or times change. Please attend one of the budget training meetings and learn as much as you can. After you attend, you will be set to write your budget. Budgets will be due in late October, early November. The deadline is firm, so make sure your budget is turned in on time. SUFAC usually refuses any late budgets. No excuses are accepted. If you wait and your budget is late, you may have to wait until next year to submit contingencies to see if you get the money you were hoping for. It is a definite disadvantage to you. The past several years, the Office of Student Life has offered President's Council meetings. These sessions cover topics designed to make your org function better. Please see the dates on the screen and plan on sending someone from your org. It doesn't have to be the president. Anyone could attend. In a similar vein, Lee will also lead a session for treasurers right before org budgets are due to answer any questions they may have and help them get them ready to submit great budgets for your orgs. Promoting your org can be easy using these tools. One of the biggest ways to get members would be to get a table at Orgsmorg. This event takes place in both fall and spring semester. Next year's dates are listed on the screen. Remember, only registered orgs can get a table, so please make sure this is done in advance. See John if you're having any trouble with getting a table. The university calendar is another way orgs can get people aware of your events. When you make a room reservation utilizing union reservations, make sure you add a description of whatever you're planning on doing. 
that way people will be able to tell that it is indeed a special event and that they'll be more likely to come. Of course, you can always make mention that your org meetings are just that. That way your members will know what those are about too. Organizations can also put up posters throughout campus. Be sure to create 75 posters. 53 can go to Residence Life and the rest can be posted throughout campus. Check out the poster locations page in the Student Org Toolkit for more information about this. Make 75 copies because it is cheaper than making 73. There is a price break that will save you some money. Banners can also be created and hung in a banner space. Utilize the banner room to develop your banner and then contact University Reservations to reserve a banner space somewhere on campus. Another thing that reservations can do for you is to book a booth space. At a booth, you can promote your event by having giveaways, posting banners, or sitting and talking about your events. Mailings are also a way to promote your org. Please stop by Alpha to make plans to do so. They can save you money on postage and will make sure the mailings are done successfully. Organizations can also promote themselves by getting on the table tents. The table tents are set out in the Garden Cafe, the Phoenix Club, and the Cloud Commons. You can find the table tent forms by searching table tents in the UWGB search bar. If you would like to create your own table tent, you need to contact the dining chair of SGA and get them approved. If they are not approved, they will be taken down. Another way to promote your event or program would be to write it on the school chalkboards. It is a free way to promote, however, anyone has the right to erase your messages, so beware. Another thing to do would be sidewalk chalk. Putting your event on the sidewalk throughout campus is a great way to promote your org and it is relatively easy. Please remember not to write on buildings or anything other than the sidewalk. All of these are great ways to promote, but the best way to promote your org would be word of mouth. When people are buzzing about your org, then people will come to your events. Just start talking about it. There are many resources for registered student orgs. You'll have the opportunity to work in the banner room. The banner room is found at the bottom of the ramp in the Union. You just need to go through the student government area in order to find it. The banner room is a place for student orgs to create banners, posters, and other things. There are many different supplies in the banner room, including an Ellison machine. This machine is used to cut out different shapes of paper simply by punching them out. This student has just cut out a picture of a phoenix to put on a banner. Use this room as you like, but remember to please keep it clean. Student life is also at the bottom of the ramp in the Union, but on the other side of the hallway from the student government area. We have desks, tables, chairs, comfy couches, and a TV for you to use. Student life is sometimes quiet and laid back. During those times, napping and studying are quite acceptable habits. Other times, you never know what you might find going on in student life, and it can get quite rowdy and rambunctious. That's okay, too. There's also a computer that you can use to help keep your org running, as well as a printer for you to print your org materials on. Use the printer, sign in with your student org SO account address, and that will let you into your email as well as enable you to print. Please do not attempt to print while logged into your personal account. It will cause the printer to malfunction in a major way. If you are unsure where your SO account address or passwords are, please contact John Landrum and he would be happy to help you. John sends out an email almost once a week containing the official communications from Student Life to your org. It will go to your SO account. You may set up your SO account to forward this email to your personal account for convenience. Either way, be sure to check for emails from John at least once a week. Ticketing Information Center, or UTIC, can also help you with many things. If your org has reserved a room and something is not set up correctly or is not working, contact them and they will try to help you. They can also help you approve posters you may want to put up throughout the union. However, they can only take three. Now that you've watched this video, please have two fund officers take the org orientation quiz. You will need to get at least 12 out of the 13 questions right to pass. If you do not pass, the quiz will allow you to retake the questions you missed. Please check out your organization information page in My Orgs. You will see the registration steps itemized and a note as to whether each step is completed. Please take care of completing each step. After all steps are completed, your org registration will be marked approved by Student Life within a day or so. If you run into any problems or questions, do not hesitate to drop into Student Life and see John. Thank you for watching this video.